two-year program overall. The first course is media productions, which is, uh, any student can take. And these, it's a four-year course, 40-week course. The second course in the sequence is television production, and those are the folks that work behind the cameras and produce the, the TV show and the features and things that you see on the air. Uh, media Productions is a prerequisite for that course, so those are my second year students. And if their schedule permits, there is a third course, Media 3, that uh, students continue, can continue on in the, the technical vein. We actually got to use cameras and they were actually putting trust into our hands with expensive equipment and then with television productions it was a show, we actually had a show that we had to make and Media 3 I figured I took the first two courses, might as well do the third. It's a complex job putting the television show on the air every morning. It takes about 12 different jobs, different people doing different jobs to make it happen and the students rotate through those different jobs so everyone gets exposure to uh, camera work and directing and running the video switcher and the audio and the features and the teleprompter, all the different aspects of it. Um, I really enjoy being director. You have to be focused and timing has to be good. Uh, the hardest job to learn was teleprompting. It's, it's quite a few steps to actually get the script up and then you have to start scrolling and you have to be listening. That's probably the hardest job to learn. To appear on air, students take a course called News Broadcasting, which is a senior English elective. Media Productions isn't required for that course, but it is recommended. We are the in front of the camera crew. So on a rotating schedule, we have a news team of four students. They're our first order of business for the day. They're going to go on live at 9 o'clock. They'll capture all the news that's on file from email and new news that teachers put in the front office. They go down to the studio and they actually type a script, a 10 minute live television script. It includes two features that students have developed and it's pretty complete with sports, weather, and lunch news as well. I ask students to come up with two different concepts, two ways to attack the same feature um, idea. Once we approve one of those ways, they'll go to a storyboard um, that's meant to guide the editor once the filming is complete. It probably takes a student, I would say, two weeks. That would be five classes in our 80-minute rotation from concept to final development. Yeah, we have to come up with a feature for our third quarter. Um, and it has to involve different perspectives of the camera. Right now we're just coming up with a storyboard for it and uh, developing our ideas. Then we move on to, uh, to another storyboard which has like times and you know it's, it's different types. You tell what kind of shot you want to do, if it's close up, you know, from the sky, the floor, what dialogue you're saying, the music, and then you, know, you draw your pictures. So, you know. so it's all laid out so it's fairly easy to work with. It's nice to see you know, our features go on the air and then other kids in our grade and they're throughout the school enjoying it and laughing at our humor and whatnot. So it's really good. We've had several different alumni, uh, lots of alumni, move on to go to college for communications and video production. And several of our alumni are working out in the field currently. We have uh, one alumni out in California making commercials for uh, big networks. We have an alumni who's trying to break into news broadcasting, actually here locally. And we have several in various college programs uh, in New York. Seeing the TV production students progress throughout the years is, is really interesting because in the fall it can be a little intimidating. There's a lot of equipment, it's a complex uh, process to put the show on the air and our goal throughout the year is to, to help the students become more comfortable with the equipment and more professional in its use and by the end of the year the students look at live TV a whole different way. They understand what happens behind the scenes, what it takes to put a show on the air and that that progression in understanding is really neat and it's interesting to watch.